welcome to Have Guitar. I hope you are doing great. In this video we are going to take a look on how to record a screen and audio from your door. I'm using Reaper uh, and my sound card is a Focusrite Sapphire 6i6 second generation. That doesn't really matter because this is a general principle. So let's start off right away. So first off you will need to go to OBS Studio and download the appropriate version for your computer. I chose Windows because I'm running on Windows 10. So that's the one I chose. The links will be in this video's description by the way. Then you need to go to VB Audio Software and download the voice meter Banana. Isn't that a great name? Yeah. So once you have done that and installed those two programs, what are you gonna do? With voice meter Banana there comes a number of drivers. For the virtual inputs, which is the thing that you wanna keep an eye on, so to speak, they came as they should be when I install the software. In this part should be voice meter VIO and in the other part voice meter AUX. Didn't need to change anything of those. A1 and A1 should be active. B1 for some reason that should be active as well. I think that is if you use a microphone as in the at the same time that you are recording. I'm not doing that well I am but the microphone is attached to the camera so I don't need to capture my voice inside the door or the computer. You know what I mean. And notice these values. Uh, if you go down to the system tray on your computer, right click the sound icon and choose sound. This is in Swedish, sorry for that. Uh, anyway, you will get this little window. And here you have your standard sound interface, which in my case is the Focusrite USB. Uh, you can d right click and choose properties and advanced, where you can see that it should be 16 bit. 44.1 kilohertz, right? And if I go down here, I have the voice meter input set as a device as well. Uh, properties for that one, advanced. I have the same value as for the focus right, and that's what you should have as well for your sound card or sound interface. I think when it came, it was set for 24 bits, something like that. But anyway, it's working. Sure is. So that's one thing you should not forget about. Whilst we are in voice meter banana, uh, here you can choose your audio interface as well, and you should do. Uh, I started out with ACO Focusrite USB ACO, uh, which caused my sound to, to repeat itself and cracking noises and stuff like that. For some reason, I, I guess I didn't know I could change it, change it uh, here at A1. But what I did was I changed it to MME, Focusrite USB, and it works like a charm now. So there's also an option to change it for WDM, but I won't do that because it's working for me. So that's really all the settings or configurations that I've done within Voice Meter Banana. So then we can have a look in Reaper. What you need to do is to go into Options, Preferences, Preferences, device and look under ACO driver. Now I've already changed it here so uh, from the beginning it was Focusrite USB audio of course as that's my sound card but it should be voice meter aux virtual ACO when you're recording in OSB studio. Okay so let's uh, I don't need to click OK because I've already set it. I should mention as well that if you go down to the sys tray and left click the sound icon like that uh, from the beginning it will say your audio interface here. So I had Focusrite USB. Change that to voice meter input VB audio voice meter VIO. That's what should be selected there. So let's have a look at the OBS Studio. What you need to do is to add a media source. I already have a media source. That's my uh, that's in Swedish because I've changed the, the language in OBS but what was already added stayed in Swedish. So if I double click that you can see I've added display 1. I have two screens. One is connected digitally that is display 1. Display 2 does not show up. I think that's connected analog. Uh, anyway I just need one screen uh, so and I think you can only record one screen anyway. So that's the media source. Then you need to add an uh, a audio input capture, double click, 
and that you select voice meter output VB audio voice meter VIO if not already selected. And that's it. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna start up this little project here. So let's have a look at voice meter banana first. Now you can see we have moving staples so that means the, the sound from the door is routed to voice meter banana. And if we have a look in uh, OBS Studio, yes sir, the sound is coming in fine from voice meter banana or via voice meter banana. So that's just great. So that's it. This is my little tutorial on how to record the screen and the audio from your door. It's a little bit not complicated, but not all easy. Actually, it took me a good two, three hours before I had it set up and working as it, as it should. I don't know why, because now when I'm looking back at it, it's not that complicated. But I wanted to do a quick run through on how to config this. Because maybe I'll forget it someday if I change computer or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have some good use for this. If you like the video, feel free to support Have Guitar by a subscription. To all of you who already do subscribe, thank you a lot. Uh, that's really appreciated. There is a new video out every Thursday. Don't forget about that. Hope to see you then. And until then, stay clean and play really hard. Goodbye!